another example of momentum balance applied in fluid mechanics. Here we have a 30 degree elbow. The diameter changes from the entry to the exit, so it's called a reducing elbow. The fluid of interest is water. And we want to evaluate the components of force that have to be provided by the adjoining pipes to keep the elbow from moving. At face number one, the pressure and area are given. At face number two, the pressure and area are given. And the total flow rate through the system is provided. Gravitational acceleration is downward in the drawing. And the exit is 30 degrees below the horizontal. So those are known values and essentially the sketch. We have the mass of the elbow. We have the internal volume. And so we'll go ahead and perform the analysis. So the solution would be first to apply continuity. And 0 equals d by dt integral rho d volume plus the integral of the control surface of rho v dot dA. That's going to vanish steady flow and non-deforming control volume. Let's draw that control volume. It's this guy right here. Uh, we might as well introduce our um, coordinate system. There's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. Uh, let's just call that A1 pointing out. A2. V1 coming in. Velocity 2 going out. We'll, we'll resolve those into uh, components shortly. Uh, we'll put our forces on it. There's a weight force, which is a combination of the liquid weight as well as the fitting weight. And there's some restraining force, Rx. Ry, which represent the reactions at the bolt. So, from continuity, we will eventually arrive at minus rho u1 a1 plus rho v2 a2 equals 0. V2 equals U1 A1 over A2. Well, U1 A1 by definition is the inflow. So this equals Q1 over A2, which equals 0 0.11 meters cubed per second divided by 0 0.0081 meters squared. That means that V2 magnitude is 13.5 meters per second. And once we know what V2 is, we can divide Q1 by A1 to get what I call U1. Magnitude is 6.04 meters per second. So that's about all we can get out of continuity. Momentum. Momentum says the sum of the forces in the x direction equals d by dt integral control volume of u rho d volume plus integral over the control surface of u rho u dot dA. In this case, the u and the x-axis are coinciding. 
so the dot product is uh, pretty simple to figure out. Some of the forces in the y direction, d by dt, control volume, dv, at least the y component of it, rho d volume, plus the integral over the control surface, the y component of v, rho, dy dot dA. Bear in mind that well, that's what we're calling V2. Because of that 30 degree angle, it has an X and a Y component to it. So here's what we know is that U, the X component at position 2, is velocity 2 magnitude times the cosine of 30 in the x direction and v2 component is magnitude v2 sine of 30 it's moving down and it's in the y direction area 2 expressed as its vector components is magnitude cosine 30 i minus magnitude sine 30 j. Here's our v dot dA concept at that location. Here's our y axis. Here's our x axis. Here's our v2 it coincides with that one. There's our 30 degrees, and if we resolve it into its vector parts, that is has magnitude. Um, come on, brain. Yeah, v2 sine 30, and this one has magnitude v2 cosine 30. We introduce the minus sign because it's pointing downwards. This stays positive because it's pointing in the plus x direction. <coughs> now I use those to write out the momentum components. So the parts of the momentum equation become, okay, so d by dt over the control volume of u rho dv vanishes because uh, the net momentum, and uh, there's no momentum accumulating within the control volume. Same for the y direction. All that's remaining are the flux intervals. So for the x direction, some of the forces in x equals Control surface, u rho u dot dA, which equals minus u1 rho u1 a1. That's this part. plus u2 rho u2 i dot product a2 cosine 30 i minus a2 sine 30 j
sum of the forces from the y is integral of v rho v dot dA. This equals v2 rho minus v2 j in a product with a2 cosine 30i minus a2 sine 30j. <clears throat> that equals v2 squared rho a2 sine 30 j direction. This one up here equals minus u1 squared rho a1 plus u2 squared rho a2 cosine 30. And now we'll start to put in numbers. The sum of the forces in the x direction is p1a1 minus p2a2 cosine 30. That's the pressure change, plus the reaction force in the x direction. And that equals u2 squared rho a2 cosine 30 minus u1 squared rho a1. The sum of the forces in the y direction is p2 a2 sine 30 plus the reaction force in the y direction minus the weight of water minus the weight of the elbow. That equals v2 squared rho a2 sine 30. At this point, you would substitute numerical values. And solve for Rx and Ry. 